Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Loop Hero. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that he shows to join me today as we go for the last... We're, we're going for the last bit. We still don't have a river, so it's... it's uh, I'm just not good at it, unfortunately. Uh, just, I can't get enough of those. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And uh, I might have gotten them earlier in the game, or maybe you just need to sacrifice the rest of the the buildings to get a get a river and whatnot but yeah it's that's that's uh that's how it's gonna be we are before we go on this thing gonna look at all of our stuff in here right there right clicking and equips it we don't have an auto sword do we or do we yes we do oh that's lovely i love it so we have a bunch of th things uh, can i actually dismantle it i wonder uh yes we can yes we can is that what's going on I think so. I think that's why I don't have enough material. Uh, some of the other materials. Let's see. So from here, we're gonna look at the stats, and uh, we're also gonna plan ahead for what we are gonna play as. Now, I'm thinking. I'm thinking a thief might be the best one. Honestly, I, it's the class that I like the best. The necromancer is very finicky, and the thief is also pretty finicky. But the problem with the thief is that you die very fast. <laughs> And, uh, or you don't die at all. I've explained uh, how I feel about it before. So let's see. We have plus 0 0.2 HP regeneration per second if you already have it. Or that is, if you already have regeneration per second. That is really lovely. And honestly, stacking that would be really good for some other builds, but we're not going to destroy it right now. Plus 1% base, base HP for every quote food unquote item placed in your camp. Item placed in your camp? What does that mean? Food item placed in your camp. I don't know. We haven't looked at this in a while. Yeah, the burned forest. We still don't have everything, though. Hmm, certainly not the golden. Maybe... Maybe we're gonna... Maybe we can tell from there. So that's a knife. Can I tell where the knife is? There it is. Kitchen knife. Usually used to cut and peel vegetables, but also can be pretty dangerous for a clumsy cook's fingers. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. For food item. Is it... Is it this thing? Or is it these things? Placed in your camp. I don't know. I don't get that. I don't... Uh, I, I, that's a mistranslation in my book. I don't know what that is. Additionally, heals 15 HP when you pass the campfire tile. That's really interesting. Uh, I... Nah, I will keep it. Raises the chance of finding a rare item by 10%. We do that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we do that. We only have... Camp supply menu. Oh, <gasps> Wait! Food! Food! We got it. it! It's here! It's here! Wait! Look at the freaking maximum! I, 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 I clicked on supply instead of... Uh, oh no, the maximum is 9. Uh, <laughs> How do I raise that? Max number of deployable objects. It's gotta be from something. I don't have anything that I can upgrade right now. So, yeah, that looks that looks pretty awesome. Uh, we're not... Yeah, okay. I, I, I get it. I get it. I understand. It's the food items. It's down here. Is that a food item, though? It is not a food item. Uh, and also, yeah, it, it isn't. One pl plus one percent base uh, HP is not particularly good. Pebbles. Uh, plus one pebbles while passing the campfire tile. Uh, honestly, these are... I don't need them at all. Dismantle. What? Oh! Oh, I see. So I need Orb of Expansion. And it tells me what I get from them. Unfortunately, it's always the same. Right? Because that's what it costs. Is that what it costs? Well, I know I don't like this. So am I getting this, or do I get both of them? No, I get both of them. Okay. Or maybe it's a random chance. Did you see? I don't know. I need to pay attention. Um, anyway, what I will look at is what has the orb of expansion. 
and it's down here. I think that's an orb of expansion. It is an orb of expansion. So, silverware, plus two hero damage against all undead. Mm. It's hero damage. It's not particularly good. So we will dismantle it. Let's see. We got six sausages or whatever those are. Where are they? Noticeable change. Mm -hmm. the, what does it... 20% complete a, form a complete metamorphosis. Sure. Uh, but let's see. So we got a plus... Uh, uh, we got a two over there. We got a plus one over here. Let's see what happens. It does go easier than making. Yeah. It goes up on both of them. It's... Okay. So I don't know why it goes... I don't know why it does that, but I like it. Also over here, increases damage done to boss by 4%. That is interesting. That is interesting, but can I give up the this thing? I don't think I can. What about these, these ones over here? The hero's damage is increased by 5% when he is in range of a road lantern or a beacon. And effects don't stack. Uh, I mean, they stack if you have multiple of these. In range of a road lantern or a beacon... That is really that is really powerful, honestly. That is really powerful. Because you just need to put a beacon or a road lantern. That is really, really powerful. We're going to dismantle these two. And we're going to hope that we have enough of those. Although, it's looking unlikely at the moment. Yeah, I would have to dismantle these. What are these over here? Uh, well, I didn't even look at these. Oh, that's just food and stuff. Yeah, we're, we're okay with that. We're okay. We're not gonna make anything. Let's go into supply here because we are carrying these two for sure. What else are we carrying? Plus one HP of passing campfire, but I don't like it. Plus one loop HP for passing campfire. Plus two hero damage against vampires. That's just two, it's not percentage. Plus two maximum HP for every point of defense the hero has. Plus one percent of potions is healing power. Plus five percent every time the hero equips a new item. Or it's not plus five percent, it's plus five HP. Plus one to maximum number of potions. That's interesting. 10% chance of receiving one ration after killing a rat wolf. Plus one defense. Maximum HP. Plus one killing an enemy. Plus one... Uh, plus one uh, HP. 6% chance of redirect redirecting lightning. Hmm. I have three slots still to go. And none of these things are really, really amazing. The bo against boss thing was pretty interesting. Plus two maximum HP for every point of defense the hero has. That is really bad. That is really bad. The extra defense might be good. I'll go with it. Or maybe just maximum HP. I mean, not for the, the rogue. The rogue, I'm basing, I'm basing my things for the rogue here. So, let's go with this one. Let's go with these two. Healing is nice. And it's healing as well before the boss, so I think that's, that's our setup right now. Let's see if we got anything, any new upgrade. We do have upgrades over here. Let's also look at our build, see if we... Perchance, yeah, it's 15. We're way too far away from that for, for that. We have a mud hut over here. You can give residents furniture or food to store. And this will increase... Uh, camp's item slots. Oh! Furniture and weapon. So that's what this is. You're going to... Yeah, camp supply. It should be... Yeah. Should be camp, honestly, over there or something. I don't know. Or supply item slots. So it increases these down here. But it doesn't incre increase that one, as far as I can tell. It's, it's always nine. So I don't like it. I don't need that upgrade. What about this one? This is the healer's hut. Uh, it unlocks the swamp card. It gives extra... No, no, no. There's more. This one doesn't, but this one does give you some more... 1% potion sealing effect, 1 potion to carry with you, 1 potion refilled at camp. Plus 1 uh, all on all those. That's pretty awesome. We also have the cemetery here, 20% HP after revival. Uh, honestly, I like those too. How, what do they require? 5 orbs of expansion. Likely, we won't be able to upgrade both of them. No, we won't be able to upgrade both of them. So, I like this one better. More vials means more potions. 
Every sip increases your chances of coming back in one piece and bringing along... And bring along some more ingredients, of course. And I suppose and bringing along is the what they wanted to say. But anyway, that is it. We are going to go on an expedition level four. Thief, we're going to look over here for a different... Um, instead of the meadows. Oh, the meadows are really handy, though. The meadows are really handy, but what I was thinking of is now that I uh, have that card that increases things, I want the beacon. Where's the beacon? So we're bringing the arsenal. The arsenal. Where's the beacon? Down here. So no storm temple. We're bringing the treasury. Yeah, we can't do everything. Instead of the bookery. The bookery is really handy. Honestly, the bookery is, is really powerful. Well, the problem with the bookery is that it's really powerful because it allows you to... Yeah, for a long-term long, long -term game, this is really powerful. It allows you to switch cards that you don't want to place on the map, like enemy cards, into cards outside of the map. So that's pretty good. Spider, Cocoon, yeah, we're going to need that. Uh, meadow is just something that I might not want. It is, I mean, it is nice. It, it, when I get past my magic HP and then I'm really down on my normal HP... I can have, this will give me a reprieve, because unless I, I really have a lot of enemies fighting to, a lot of them uh, next to each other, I'll have the tiny little fights uh, on the way to the next big fight, and by the time I get there, I will have my maximum HP back up to normal, or hopefully, anyway. So we need a grove, we need a village. Do we need a cemetery? Because the cemetery spawns... Yeah, we do need a cemetery. It's a road, it's a road thing. Do I need the wheat fields? Oh, interesting. So can be placed next... Yeah, I don't think I need the wheat fields. I think the wheat fields are screwing me up. I mean, they're nice. Don't get me wrong. They give... Uh, plus five per loop HP healing in adjacent villages. So it's like a hundred healing extra. But these ones, how is that? Plus fifteen per loop already so it's pretty it's pretty great it goes it's it's a 66 percent increase or 67 if we're rounding it up properly uh percent increase on that but instead of the vampire mansion i don't like vampires vampires are, are dangerous as hell and i honestly don't think i need it for for stuff so let's go i don't know what the a go-getter I don't know what that's for, but it is. Let's see. Do we have a good map? We do not have a good map. An arsenal right away over here would be interesting. So, how do I want to do this? Get the arsenal in here, because there's nothing immediately necessary. I'm thinking. And off we go. I will... Just have a bunch of enemies right there, as per as per previous previously learned strategies. And I do want a blood. Uh, I want you over here immediately. I do want a blood grove right there, so that fills these up completely. The spider cocoon. The problem with the spider cocoon is that it will spill. Actually, the spider cocoon right here might be a good idea. I don't. I just don't know when it where it's headed to. Yeah. I get a, a, a spider cocoon there, so that I can have a blood grove over here. And then over here, I'll worry about that later, because I'll, I'll focus on these ones first. And li it's likely that we'll have a, a, a couple of uh, groves normal over here, just because we will have groves. They will show up. I promise you they will. But it is a dangerous move, because of course we know... There it is, groves. It is a dangerous move, because we know how the first boss is, how early the first boss shows up. Although the game has been patched since we fought this for the first time. I'm glad that I got most of the base experience pretty pretty early in my in the health or in the life of the game. And even though the episodes took time to, to show up, they There we go, we got a road lantern. Oh, that isn't great. Road lantern, is this the speed no. It's the maximum number of things. So because it doesn't stack. Uh, I'll hang on to that for right now. It's also one of those cards that I really do want to hang on to either way because it's a good 
a good fallback situation. So we got some rocks. We're going to need to judge where we want the rocks. We want them there. We want our thicket right there, making things bigger. And then we have another... What? Did I bring the wheat fields? I forgot about that. What did I drop? Was it Vampire Mansion? It was. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> that was the fastest ever. That was incredible. And we didn't even, didn't even have kitty cats. Okay, so we have 10, 20. Okay, that's not bad. We have a five, 3 to 5, but it increases damage. Don't quite need that, honestly. The critical damage chance. Oh, it's actually for damage chance. Chance. Yeah, that's that's good. I like that. We got some boots. Counter innovate. Yeah, that's good enough. And then we have armor that is worse than the current one. And we have an amulet that we need because we need an amulet. Okay, we got kitty cats. Kitty cats go away for some reason. Did you see that? Kitty cat wasn't sticking around. Uh, we have a new amulet, uh, amulet over here. It's higher level. I'll just put it in. And, uh, yeah. So... That's going to give me 10% extra damage. And obviously that's really important because I do enormous amounts of damage. So it is an increase of damage that is that's really good. At least hopefully I will do enormous amounts of damage. We got more thickets. We're getting lucky here. This is going well. I do want to be careful about the, the cards on the outside of the map. There's a few evasions by the kitty cat and a cemetery. Uh, so the cemetery can go here or it can go there. It's better to go here for sure because of the ranged attackers. And uh, we got two spiders and a kitty cat. It's fantastic. We have our first mountain. Mountain that we can put over here, no problem. And we have a forest that we can put over here. Sure, it's not ideal. And let's observe what we got. We got some nice stuff. High level, uh, high level weapons. Let's just put them in. Because it's how that works. We have critical damage increase over here with our armor. I'll put that in there. And we have 8 evasion boots. 8%. Mm. It's, uh, it's not bad. But it's a counter. I like a counter. Let's go. Complete little bit obliteration there. Yeah. So if I get a big mountain before the... It's a problem though. The boss, when, it, when the boss shows up, I have I have a lot of stuff. I'm going to need to put stuff in there. I can't put anything here. Wow. Because the first boss spawns with all the bad cards. It's, it's going to be something. It's going to be something. Hopefully it will be by loop level 6. Although, I don't know if it will. Also, get, put, I'm really glad I didn't place this early. Because doing that early is a terrible idea. Considering we are not going to fight too many enemies if we do that. We got some really lovely boots over here. We have armor. What's that? Critical damage. Armor. Eh, critical damage is better. Let's just hang on to that. And then we have some, some weapons. Didn't really get too many good weapons. That's it. All for materials. Hmm. It's kind of bad. Uh, we have a grove. So putting that over here is important. And then we have a blood grove over there. Uh, then we can put the rocks over here. But honestly... Because, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I want the, I want meadows in there. Or forests or something. In the cemetery. We used our first potion. Okay, cemetery. That is okay, even though it isn't. Uh, we have a thicket. Let's see. One, two, 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 two. Oh, that's, mm. Wait, um. Dang it! These are all for... <laughs> all the places here are for... Okay, whatever. We're not gonna have the perfect uh, thing that I wanted. You know, the what, I, what is it called? Checkered, checkered part pattern. And we have a quest. I love those. Please give me all of those. Because they give me cards, they give me items, they give me experience. That's right, we, don't, we haven't even leveled up yet. Although we are 75% of the way through. This little jelly bean is actually being a little bit of a nuisance. And we have two villages. Very nice. Let's put one village over there. That's pretty bad, actually. And we have another one over here. And hopefully they will give me more quests. Although, quests are also very dangerous. That one did not... Oh, no, it did give me a quest. Was it after? I think it was after the loop. 
Uh, no, it was not but after the loop. That's pretty good. Okay, so you definitely need to go here, and I am going to need another one over here for sure. That's another quest. This is going well. This is going well. Loop level four. So now the next loop, I need to be really careful not to aggro everybody, really. Um, yeah, the checkered pa pattern is uh, a bust at the moment because I need some over here. No checkered pattern. I'm going to need something over here as well. This doesn't really need to be there, although I I am of a mind of putting that in there. But if I got a proper beacon, that'd be fantastic. I don't know. We're gonna hang on to that. Mm-hmm. That's our magic HP all gone in a single hit. And we have no evasion, but it's fine because we are we're gonna heal right away. Lovely. Lovely. Hmm. It's less lovely than I thought it was going to be. Using all of our potions. What do we have here? Maximum HP is increased one for each received trophy. Three, percent, three HP after, uh, HP after uh, kill. Give me new things because these suck. Blissful ignorance. No. Every 10% lost. Oh, yeah. Lethal weakness. That's the stuff. Then we have a blood grove here. I was expecting to put it over there. We could put a bookery here. Because, you know, we're going to need it. <sighs> but we're not going to. I'm hopeful that we'll find a spider cocoon thing. Or something like that. But I think we managed very, very well. In terms of weapons, we did not. We have a huge evasion bonus over here. We have maximum HP damage to wall and defense. That is not bad. We have uh, counter. That is better. And also higher maximum HP, which is pretty good because we're fully healed right now and we are basically getting it all instead of the other one. We have 120. Yeah, that's the that's the ticket. 147 magic HP. Uh, we're losing a bunch of stuff, but nothing, nothing that can't be regained, I would say. We have a new weapon that is an improvement. It's 1319 versus, let's see what I have over here. Critical damage, it's critical damage increase. This one sucks the most, so you're going over there. And uh, hopefully this is this is okay for us. Okay, evasion still hasn't kicked in too much. Okay, yeah, I, I, mm, I'm worried about these cards. Because I can't place them. Give me anything, come on. That, that That's an Oblivion card right there. I don't need that in there. This early in the game. Hmm. Alchemist's Shelf. How did I get that? It seems... Mm, it seems like the game is giving me things, not, not uh, taking things away from me. Even though I'm facing thieves. It's an interesting card. Or it's an interesting proposition. We got a mountain. I need to be careful. We do have a beacon, though. Ah, the beacon doesn't go there. The beacon doesn't go there. Hmm. So. Uh, well, road lantern for the because we're going to get 10 extra HP. So the Road Lantern here is going to give me extra damage here. And it's really only going to affect that bit over there. It's not terrible. Especially considering the amount of bad things that are going to happen. This one over here is just nice. This affects 5 houses or 5 tiles. This affects 6 tiles right there in the middle. And everywhere else it's always going to be worse. What about this one? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, three. 6 tiles here as well. That's nice. That's nice. Instead of this one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if we have better. This affects five. Stuff like that is where... Oh, this is much better. We have uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So that's ten tiles. Yeah. So I'm going to put you down, but I'm not going to do that immediately. I'm going to do this one first. And the reason why is because I don't know how much that is actually going to increase things by. So... 
We're just gonna place the stuff that we know we can place. And, uh... Place you right there. Place you here as well. And then we have these ones down there. That I honestly want to... Place as well. But it's dangerous. It's dangerous because I think another card and we spawn the boss, and I don't want to spawn it at enemy level 5. I want to spawn it at enemy level 6. That said, I don't know that that is a good idea. I don't know. Because I don't think we've ever... Oh my god, look at all the things. Uh, I don't think we've ever managed to do it like that. Hmm. Can I put a spider cocoon here? Yes, I can. Moving on. We're getting a lot of cards. We got some new boots as well. These boots are lovely. Instead of a, uh, a 19 evasion is what I get from that, I get 16. They're not as lovely as I thought. Okay, it's all going to be down to the last few things. We keep getting new stuff. Damage to all. Uh, counter. I like that better. I like that better. Then we're just... Oh, we get that! Right! I understand now, a little. <laughs> so the reason why we don't always get quests is because you need to do one loop to get the quest and another loop to get the reward. Right! I am silly. There's, It's so easy, a lot of the time. And I just don't get it every once in a while. Why are you guys so... so damage resistant? Archer takes part in battles on adjacent tiles. Yeah, I know. You're bad. What is going on? Slow. Every damage dealt to this creature interrupts its attack. That's incredible. Uh, it should be everything. Every enemy should be like that. It would add a little bit more to the... Um... <laughs> so basically that thing can't attack. It would add a little bit more to the... Uh, what's the word? Evasion build. Okay. We got this. I moved a little bit because we're about to spawn the, the boss. And let's see what we have over here. We have a... We have finally weapons, what we have. So, which one is better? Critical damage increase. Eh, honestly, that one is better. I'll go with you. This one is probably going to supplant that anyway. Attack speed increase, critical damage chance. Oh, this one is incredible. Oh, this one is even better. Oh, my God. We got proper weapons this time. This was a lot better than than uh, what I was... The, the alternative, which was spawning the enemy on enemy loop level 5. But we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Loop Hero. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead, leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.